What's y'all nigga doing? This for uh, Good Mob. Warren Market, don't stop no show. Good and Mob, do your thing and understand something. They rule Atlanta. You think it's a joke? Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. This shit's real, boy. Good and Mob, be back. I right, know that. Regardless of what you think or what you say, G Mo be back. L-I-L-P, believe that. Like, I'm out to damn near prove that y'all motherfuckers made a mistake fucking with us. Yeah. I know we three gonna work like motherfucking dogs, folks, to make sure this shit, we gonna get back to the same level we was at when we stopped this bitch. When me and George T came back home from Japan, it was like shit, folks. Had to chill out for a minute, but look like now, ain't no more chilling out this shit. Get the roll on Saturday, Sunday, you know what I mean? Once this bus take off Sunday, man, like it's on once more. And they gonna have to deal with us, man. Here to let y'all know that we still stand and overcoming anything, any obstacle that's placed in front of us. You know what I'm saying? Just gonna make us strong in the end. Believe that. That's why I brought a new good, but y'all ain't gonna have time to listen to it. <laughs> Good Amar Ruckus, baby. It's going down, 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 down. Good Amar, legendary, man. You know what I mean? All four comers, man. You know what I mean? We all made music together, so we all took something from each other. You know what I'm saying? And making music. You know what I'm saying? Just for my own boy, then growing up in the bushes. We pour a liquor and roll a swish of smoke. Just for my own boy, then growing up in the bushes. And from there, it was just love, man. We started working on records, we were working on our album, they was working on the Lumberjack album, they was working on the album, and they just decided to call the Good Mom's album after that. So they started working on music after we did something to play a And, you know, Get Out blew up, and the rest, you know, the books, man. Just family now. The original Dungeon Family is Outcast, Good Mom, Organized Noise. Witch Doctor, Cool Breeze, Society of Soul, Backbone, Mr. Fat Face. That's the original Dungeon Family, you know what I mean? Now, inside of that, you know, it's, it's, it's going into a DF2. That's what's about to come out in a minute, DF2. DF2 is Killer Mike, Slim, Calhoun, The Connect, um, a couple other brothers that are affiliated through association with each member as a principal. Being Goody Marble principal, being organizer principal, being outcast principal, you know what I mean? We got like new cats under there. But that's basically good, that's basically Dungeon Family. In my first introduction to Goody Marble, I was watching Arnell Star. And I saw Outcast, you know, Outcast was kind of above me. And I seen like these gritty, grime ass, eight town niggas with them, like dicky suits, feet, little nappy beards and shit. You know what I'm saying? But they was talking street shit, but they was they was adding a like positive element to it and not positive in that canned ass kind of way, just like like young nigga, like a nigga who just got out of jail gonna talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what that what pulled me to him. And Cujo invented the name. Cause he was Cujo Goody. And the, the Goody Mob, he invented the name like right after, right before Outkast came out. You know what I mean? Fuck around, got a deal with Organized North. When Organized North signed us to their label. And then once we jumped on that Outkast record and started playing this to Cadillac Music, me and Timo was on Call of the Wild, Big Gilp and goddamn CeeLo. They was on Get Up, Get Out and Get Some. So shit. Once that shit did with like a million shit, the face just decided to go ahead on and employ the Goody Mob. So once they employed the Goody Mob, shit, it was shit. We just started goddamn twerking together, man, up on the organized knowing they did our first album, Soul Food. Everybody loved that shit, straight classic, man. Yo, what's going on? This Outcast right here, you got Andre 3000. Up here, you got Big Boy, the other half of Outcast. The whole Down South movement 
with Outkast and with Goody Mob and everybody, they were kind of like together. It was kind of like one group, although they were individuals, you know what I mean? And that kind of made it so that the South was unified on one front. And that's why those albums will never be forgotten. That will be the history of down South Southern music forever. Everybody cool? Where Outkast came up with ATL and all of a sudden everybody on the planet started saying ATL for Atlanta. Um, I think it was pretty much the same way with um, the Goody Mob and the Dirty South, because everybody now, you can't go anywhere without hearing somebody saying something about the dirty. And Outkast represented the young hustlers or you know people out there trying to get it, the young entrepreneurs and the players and all that. Then Goody Mob represented the cats with them, you know, working in the goddamn warehouses. You know what I'm saying? Straight up grinding, you know, dice shooting, you ain't necessarily shaving clean every day. You know, them, that side of it, you know what I'm saying? Man, that first good of my album put the sock on the map, man. You know what I'm saying? It was like Soul Food was a great record. Then after Soul Food, be very honest, they did a TV show, they did a movie. We didn't talk to no people. They afraid nobody called us about that stuff. We never, you know what I'm saying? Nobody, I mean, it ain't just about the money. It was just like, like, like we ain't did an album or something. Like, like we ain't never do that. Like, we didn't give that to the community. It's almost like, it's, but everybody eating off of it though. And I'm happy for all y'all, you know what I'm saying? Moving in the hood. Come from a nice suburban area, want to move in the hood. Just to try to feel what these boys were talking about, man. They made the L. Probably to try to get out the hood on the down low. People really live by good and hard, you know what I mean? Like cats really need that shit. Like church one for them but they were trying to find something else and enlighten them. So that's what Goody Mob kind of represented to me, the marriage of like the streets and you know what I'm saying, trying to come out of it, you know what I mean? So like that's why I feel like they audience was just like, it, it was just them, them nigger niggas, them niggery niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what that's what attracted me to Goody Mob. That's what like had the whole city around me. That's what be amazing, man. Some of these motherfuckers around here making new money, man. Like, but like it ain't like it ain't never stopped. Mr. Big, yeah, like he making new money, man. Yeah. New money, man. Like it's amazing, man. <laughs> and man, that came the game when it was all about bebop. I know one of the hardest Goody Mob songs ever was Cell Therapy. You know what I'm saying? The video was just raw. I mean, we used to come straight out the dungeon. There wasn't nothing glamorous about it. it was, uh, everybody was just kicking, you know, our views and evaluation on what the world was back then in 92, 93. And it was just raw, man. It was like nigga was off the leash, you know? And from then, just records start coming. And to this day, we still all do records together. My favorite song, Good Amount, that ever done. I might I ain't never even heard it. But y'all done heard my nigga Dre said on the album, hold on like my nigga Good Mo. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, be strong. It ain't gonna be that long. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the words for it. You know but that shit jamming like hell. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, y'all y'all gonna hear it in a minute cause I know they gonna put it out on something. But I mean I love black ice, you know what I'm saying? That's one of my favorites. Self therapy of course. Uh, they don't dance no more like I, mean, I got a lot of good of my favorites, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that peaking them I went. I mean that just set them off like like that was the beginning, the creation of Goody Mob. Like that's where they started, and that's what got them to prepare to where they where they are now. Um, and so that's always going to be a classic. We just got love, man, all across the globe, man, because when we came out, we came out as ourselves. We weren't trying to portray no Bloods, no Crips, or no New York folks, or no California people, no Texas people. We just came out with straight country rap, man, just straight country reality, man. First CD I ever bought was a Goody Mall CD sale therapy, for real, for real. And ever since then, I've been DF all day. I love you, Cujo, CeeLo, Timo, Big Dip. I love all y'all. What's happening? Yeah. Goody Mob is the shit's nick. You know what Goody Mob do, look. He dreaming about Goody Mob right now. Hey, I'm Keisha, tell him Goody Mob. Believe it. Folks like righteous music, and they like music that they can shake their ass to. And if you're feeding their soul at the same time, you know, that's all to the grave.